Hi guys, it's Belle here and today for hashtag the Oddtober 24 hosted by the lovely April over at Pink Oddbird in collaboration with the wonderful Priscilla at Release the Craft In. I'm actually going to combine days 14 and 15 because to me they are so similar that it made sense for me to make one tag for both of them. I've also done a lot of pre-prep. So let's get started. So we've just looked at the gallery wall with all those pictures. And then day 14 or prompt 14. This is too weird. I'm miles away from my relative's house. I find a box in the corner. It has some packets of food inside. I haven't eaten in hours. And day 15, or prompt 15. These food packets are strange. They almost look like spell or potion labels. I sure hope this magical food takes away my hunger. So because day 14 is about a box with some food inside and day 15 is basically about the food, I just thought, let's combine them. So I'd already used <laughs> some... Um, of the Tim Holtz wallpaper that was similar to one that I'd used in another tag. It's this one with the roses on it, although you can't actually see that now. <laughs> I've done what I've done with the other backgrounds. I've sprayed, I've used vintage photo, black soot and cracked pistachio oxide sprays and I've inked around in black soot. Okay, so as we also had the gallery wall in the last tag, I actually took another photo. This is another Art House Whimsy. I will leave it linked down below. And one of the frames. I had one of the frames left over. I had this really creepy photo I didn't like. Uh, it is super creepy. So it's got to go in here. Uh, that's what I mean by don't like it. It was just creepy. Uh, so um, yes, I then covered it in crackle paste. And again, because this is matte photo paper, the crackle paste really lifts up. So I had to flatten this overnight <laughs> and we are going to put this on as the gallery wall and I'm wondering in the background so in the other tags I've used die cut leaves but I wanted to I've got this new um, stamp set which I am loving and I was wondering about using one of these let me get my very grungy large acrylic block. I was wondering about using one of these instead of the die cut. Now I know the die cut's going to give a much, much cleaner, uh, a much more textured kind of look. But I just wanted to use something different. And also I want to try and change it up a little bit because not all of you might have die cuts. So I wanted to show you a different way of doing it. I've got my Arondyk, um lettuce one and yeah this is just like my blue one that I used the denim one in my Marguerite Miller this week I've had these maybe eight years maybe even longer and I'm not kidding you guys they're as juicy now as the day I bought them and I don't even use them that often so I'm just saying these are amazing stamp pads I haven't had to re-ink them I haven't had to add water nothing they're amazing so if I want that about there, let's just try and get the plant kind of coming up. I'm really going to press this down. I don't know how well it's going to show up, mainly because there's so much ink on the background. Oh, it does show up a little bit, actually. Only faintly, but you know what? That's not a problem. I don't mind that it's faint. I just wanted to try something a bit different to what I have been doing. Um, we're going to have a box, so I don't actually need this to come up too much further. I just want another one on here. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to try something that I haven't done. And obviously, one of the other ways that I could do this is I could use my embossing pad and use an embossing powder. And that, again, would give it even more dimension I'm in love with this one in particular I used this on my Marguerite Miller this week 
Um, I know it's going to be so good. I could use the resist spray. I could do all sorts. But some of you guys, especially if you're new to crafting, will just have some stamps maybe. So I really just wanted to try something a little different this time. And I've got them, so why not use them? Oh my gosh, I am love it. I just love this stamp. I don't know why. I just really, really do. Okay, so we're going to go with that. And I'm loving this stamp set. So, again, I'll leave this link below. I've been using it a lot in my videos. Um, it's a sample creative expressions one i think it's called witch's brew or something i haven't got the case by me so we're just doing what we're doing okay now let's get this on now i'm wondering if this will stick down so what i'm actually going to do is i'm actually going to use some double-sided tape because this is can you see how crinkly that is and it would probably need time to be glued and then put under something really heavy which is what i had to do to the piece anyway and the other thing I like about this stamping is it just kind of fades into the background so it's just that little bit of detail I don't want it to take up too much I don't want it to stand out too much because I want the box to be the main uh, focus so yeah I just wanted to bring it in because the gallery wall tag we did had um, nature on it we're in a tree house still let's not forget that and so I just wanted to bring in that nature aspect plus I just love working with foliage and nature in my creations I know yesterday's video was very long, so thank you for your kind comments. Those of you who said, oh, we don't care, we'll watch it no matter how long. Uh, I was super surprised, actually, at just how long it was. But there we go. And that's with doing some of it off camera. So let's move this now out of the way. And we're going to put this on. I'm going to put it on straight. The other... Um, the other pictures aren't straight on the other tag, but it's more the aspect of bringing that in. I have used some blah, 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 walnut stain on there, but I wanted the image, which is super great. Bear. So again, I've used some Tim Holtz paper because it looks like wood. But if you don't have this, you could just use some brown paper. You could, I don't know, find a box in a magazine. There are lots of options. You could create a different looking box. Now, because this is wood, I am going to rough up the top. It just says box, doesn't it? Crate, box, box. So I'm thinking a kind of box that you would get from a store. A wooden, you know, one of those wooden boxes. Uh, and I want the top, because it's probably been sitting there a while, I want this wood to look a bit rough at the top because it's not going to be perfect. So when I'm going in for the food packets, watch out for splinters because I doubt this place has a first aid kit. Although there's probably one in the car, but just saying might not want to go out to the car in the middle of the night when it's raining outside and there's been creepy ghosty people and yeah all that good stuff I'm probably like no thank you uh, I am also going to go over it a little bit in black cert again I just like mixing walnut stain and black cert I know obviously scorched timber is darker than walnut stain, but that's not why I use the black soot. I just like the layering of it. So this is going to be my box. And on top of that, I took some more of these, you know, these strips that come in the ephemera packs. And I was thinking like they'd be really fun to add as if they're from the shop, you know, as if they're from... I'm going to tear it just a little bit. I think that would look quite good for the wood. From the shop that um, the box came from. Does that make sense? 
that's what I feel. Now we are going to just do a little bit of black soot along here because there is dark between the planks on this box. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to bring in a bit of wood as if it's from the shop. Just to again give this box a bit of detail and a little bit of something. Yeah, I hope it's not cheating blending the two prompts together but I just thought they work so well and I just feel like the one tag would be fine for them uh, we had bake shop but also we had the made in England which I thought was again would work really well on here and again I'm not going to really use these I don't like the red on that. I'm not going to really use these or I haven't really found a use for them in other projects that I do. So I'm really liking using them in this um, project because at least I'm actually using something that has just been collecting a bit of dust. I think I like it down there in my Tim Holtz ephemera. I mean, I'm sure other people love using them. I just it's just not something that I've used so but I thought it worked brilliantly with the idea of a box in the corner although again if this was really me there's no way I'm eating food out of a box in a corner that's been sitting in a tree house when so much spooky stuff's been going it's just not happening guys that's just not me <laughs> all right so i also want to use i don't even know what this um i want to use this spider i've used it on other um i used it on another tag and i just really love this spider and i thought it would look fun with it i'm going to use my stays on jet black Thought it would look fun coming down the box because, again, there's been spiders in this story and I've used one, this one on a tag, so I just thought that'd be fun. To also add a little bit of dimension and interest. Now, I think that's it for the box. And we're going to add the box to the bottom of this tag. But we are going to add it. I really need more here, actually. We're going to add it as a pocket. Because then we're going to add dudes to it. I was wondering about stitching all the way around this as well. I might still. Let's just add this as a pocket first, shall we? So... And just like that so here's the box I found in the corner <clears throat> as I was walking along the gallery wall really liking those plants in the background they're just it's just there you know it's just adding it just draws the eye a little bit but not too much okay so the first thing I want to add because this is meant to be a kids playhouse I have this creeper doll it's another art house whimsy. It's one of the images and I cut it out and it's super creepy. <laughs> but it's meant to be a, a creepy treehouse and a kid's one. So, I mean, look at it. And I thought that would fit in really well, just kind of tucked under, looking at you out of the box. <laughs> and then I made this so instead of apothecary or potion labels rather um, I've done I've taken the little Tim Holtz apothecary labels that I really love and to me they look like they could be as it says spell or potion labels that looks like it could be a spell label okay to me I know they're apothecary ones, but to me, they're potent. So I made this. This is a die cut. 
and I cut it from a white base and then I used a little bit of acetate. Can you see that? I cut that out too. I actually cut them out at the same time. And then I had these candy corns uh, scraps, a scrapbook paper. So I cut out a load of the candy corns, put them in there, glued, um, because again, my glue dries clear. Obviously, I inked as well. I inked the paper because the paper was this colour. I inked it with walnut stain, some black soot, glued it down and added an apothecary. So that's one of the things that's going to be popped in. Now, I want to show you. This is what I mean by use what you have. So I have this very old quick cut die cut machine uh, tool. Do you guys remember these? Like I literally bought this, what, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, maybe 15, maybe. I've had this ages and some of my favorite die cuts are still from this and that little mason jar is one of them use what you've got guys uh, so yes yeah, so that's in there and then I made a lot of goodies one of the things I made where has that gone to is a little packet with um, a chocolate frog in it and now I can't find that packet. It was literally right here with everything else. Is that it? No, that's the other string. Hold on. Oh my goodness, guys. I was like, where's it gone? So I made this little packet. It reminds me of, do you remember in the 50s and that and 60s, you would wrap sandwiches and foods and cheeses in like baking parchment. And now we're using a lot of waxed sheets to cover things the eco-minded and so in here is actually you can barely see it but there's a little frog die cut that reminded me of a chocolate frog from you know that movie if you know you know and I've actually wrapped it with string that could be unwrapped or cut because it can be open I've inked all the sides we're going to make one of these and put a little potion uh, a little label on there because I just thought that reminds me of when you used to wrap food or when we still do so here I haven't got a frog here but I've kind of cut a piece of card in kind of a bread shape to mimic sandwiches and I'll show you how I did it because I just I thought that was super cute immediately I thought if it's going to be food it's going to be wrapped and stuff although realistically wouldn't you wrap want it completely sealed shut vacuum shut you know um and I am using some candy and stuff in this, which after what we saw on the road, it's questionable whether I would eat that. But I thought it worked. It was fun. So I just put it in. I'm going to fold it up. I want the really crinkled edge. Or maybe I want the uh, dirtier edge. Look, this is baking parchment that uh, when I dye my paper, this goes under the paper in the tray. And it just comes out looking grungy and lovely and then I love using it in my projects so and then I'm going to ink the sides up like so and then I literally have this teeny thin twine and we are going to wrap it around our packet just like we would in real life and then we're going to tie a little knot in there. I mean, again, I wouldn't eat anything from a box that had been sitting there, and especially if it had a spider crawling down it. But we're going with the prompts, guys. <laughs> this is spooky season. We're just going with the prompts and we're not thinking too much about it. And then I'm going to take another apothecary label, if I can find one that looks kind of witchy. We've got a green one there. I always think the green ones look witchy. I know, makes no sense, but there we go. Potion label. Obviously, I could have made absolutely amazing potion labels. I could have. But I just thought, no, let's blend these together. They're so similar to me in my head that my brain just went to, ooh, blend it and do this with it. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on there. So yeah, so like I said, I hope it's not cheating April, but it's how my brain thought. So we're going to put that one on at a bit of an angle. I don't want it completely straight. It can be at an angle. 
So we've made a little package with some food in it. I mean, come on. Adorable? Yes, I think so. I may be biased. It's my creation. <laughs> but I think it's cute. Okay, so then I went and thought about... Um, there's got to be something that you can drink, some sort of juice in there. So I used one of the Tim Holtz dyes, a cut packs, and I made these. And then I actually used the apothecary labels and cut them out with the die cut too. So I just used these bottles. And we're just going to like layer things up because I want things to be seen, but I don't want it to be... Oh, like I want that candy corn scene. So I just want it to be in the background. Maybe that would go over there a bit better with the doll is. Though am I going to drink anything near that creepy doll? Probably not. And then I made some, again, this is an old Tim Holtz die cut set. I made some um, candy from scraps and then I used a rub on with the skull and crossbones. Now, realistically, am I going to eat <laughs> a lolly that um, has got a skull and crossbones on? Probably not. Uh, but I was wondering, and I've got a little, I might use the green one to bring that in, actually. I also have a little cupcake die set and I did want to put like a little cupcake but you know what I don't think I want anything down here now I was going to put food down here and I don't think I want it let's put the lolly in as well I feel like the lolly where could that go because I want it standing out a little bit so that you can tell it's a lolly maybe down here that's a lot of orange in that area then but that's okay I don't mind that have that like that and then we've got the little sweetie in green and obviously I've inked I say obviously I've inked around all of these because yeah they have a little sweetie coming out like so or do I want it more here right behind I really want that doll's face showing because it's super creepy. <laughs> so, yes. And I found, whilst I was going through my scraps, actually, I actually found these Halloween words by uh, Jay Lilo. So I will link that down below. But they have one that says trick or treat. And I thought, I mean, I think I've got smaller ones too. But I'm going to see what this looks like first. And then, once we've done that, because it might be too big, definitely want a word on here. And then I'm definitely going to add um, a tab. So I am wondering about the stitching. What do we think, guys? I'm not going to be able to hear you, but I like stitching so much. So we have got trick or treat, which could go on almost. Oh, yes. No, I do like it. I do. I'm going to cut it a bit smaller, actually. Um, it gives me the same feels as the planks and the Tim Holtz ephemera. So that's why I kind of pulled it out because I thought it might work with those. And now I'm looking at it. It does. Um and as I said, I just like the idea because there's a box full of food. But is it a trick or is it a treat? What is it? What do we think? I guess we're going to find out when we eat it. I mean, there's no way I'd be eating it. Uh -uh. Nope, 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 nope. Don't care how hungry I am. And... If you watched one of my Marguerite Miller's a few weeks ago, you will know that I always carry a little snack in my bag. Anyway, like some peanuts or something. So I'd be eating those. Thank you very much. I would not be touching anything. Yes, I just like that so much. So again, Art House Whimsy and Jay Lilu. 
but use what you've got guys I want to show you other alternatives because I'm making these and I realize that I have I've been crafting a long time so I have quite a lot in my stash and sometimes you can just see things and be inspired but I was looking at I have some of these which are little die cut ephemera pieces that I've got from somewhere and I've cut around the deadly nightshade one and I was going to use this eyeball one so like you can use things like that oh that's the other thing I wanted to add I'll look at that in a minute um you can use things like that that would have fitted in I just wanted to use my things a pumpkin I wanted to actually add a pumpkin because with it being the kids I did want to add a pumpkin but you know what? I don't think it needs it. I could put a pumpkin sitting on the bit that says stoves, but that kind of takes that up. And let's have a look at it in here. You wouldn't see its whole face, but it might just be peeking out. Oh, actually, peeking out. I don't mind it. What do we think? Without... Do you know what? I feel like it's fine without it. I do think like it's fine without it. I'm wondering about this green though. I don't know if I like the green. Let's try the red. It hasn't got the skull and crossbones on it, but let's try the red. Red or green. Red, green, red. <laughs> It's ridiculous when I can't make up my mind. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add both of them. That's what I'm going to do. Because, and let's pull the doll up a bit further so we can really see this creepy doll. Let's pull her up a bit further. And then we can see the sweeties and the bottle of juice. Okay, right. That way it's just easier. So I had loads of little bits like that, lots of little bottles and die cuts. Again, I actually had a lot of these already made from a couple of years ago when I used a lot of them in my October daily then. I've got a little lolly. But I feel like I need a tab and then I'm wondering about the stitching all the way around. I could do a straight line of stitch. Okay, let me grab some fabric and stitch the tab on and then I'll show you what that looks like so you can see I added some black fabric some grey sari silk and some of the greeny grey cheesecloth I've been using I added some loose threads on there because I well, love a thread um, still got lots of threads hanging off look at that yummy sometimes it's easier for you to see on the white paper and then I did a straight, now I did a zigzag stitch over this, but then I did just a straight stitch all the way around, a little bit wonky. Could have done a second one, but I didn't want to. And obviously, if you're going to do something like this, please remember to pull your things in before you stitch them. I didn't want to stitch over the dolly's arm and I didn't want to stitch over the lollipop and things. I want everything to be able to be taken out and looked at and kind of played with. Um, but that is my day 14 and 15, although, hold on, I just thought this has got quite a bit of black to it, so I was wondering about the, this, and I was wondering about maybe bringing in my pen, it's 0.5, I, I just picked this one for no reason other than the fact that that's the one that was there. And I wanted to bring it in and just outline that stove's one a little bit. Because it would have a little bit of shadow. Do you know what would work really well? One of those, um, the pencils that you can smudge, which I also have. But I didn't grab that. I grabbed the pen. So that's what we're working with is the pen. And I'm just doing it lightly because I don't want it as dark or as thick as I would normally. But I just feel like the Made in England has the red that makes it stand out a little bit. And the Trick or Treat has black around it too. And that's not too thick in your face. 
but it just helps this look like it's an extra plank that's been put on. I mean, really, I should have like little what look like nails and things, but we're not going to do that. But that's it, guys. What do we think? I am so happy with both the little jar, as I said, made from my quick cuts machine. I had a whole little Halloween pack, like I've got tiny bags and ghosties that you can make and stuff. It's so cute. Um, so I still use my quick cuts and I really love these packages. So let's go over it again. We've gone into the tree house. We've seen the gallery wall. This is too weird. I'm miles away from my relative's house. I find a box in the corner. It has some packets of food inside. I haven't eaten in hours. These food packets are strange. They almost look like spell or potion labels. I sure hope this magical food takes away my hunger. So yeah, we have our little packets. We have our little bottles. We have a creepy image because of the gallery wall. And that's it, guys. That's prompts. 14 and 15 combined in one tag and I really like how this one came together it's kind of less dimensional in some ways than the others but you know I need to fit it all in that wooden um, tag holder that I have so but it's really fun it's interactive and it's grunge so I could you could add a little bit of crypt paste and stuff but I'm not going to I like it as is and you barely even see the leaves now in the background but you would see them um when you're taking the bits out and again if I did die cuts to this as I have the others it would be too much on here in this area so please do like and subscribe if you haven't already I appreciate you and I'll be back again so with another video. Until next time, guys, wherever you are in the world. Firstly, beware any magical food you find in a random box just sitting in a creepy treehouse. And two, I hope you're having lots and lots of spooky crafty fun. Bye for now.